Woman brought home a Japanese Spitz that never barked. Consulting vets revealed an astonishing reaction. Mystery of stuff. Wagging tail, companion, loyal. What's the one word which comes to our mind when we read these words? Dogs, better known as man's best friend. They bring a kind of happiness in your life which can't be substituted. They add fun to mundane activities like going for a walk, taking a nap, eating a meal, etc. Adopting a dog is one of the purest forms of joy a person can experience. Miss Wang, a citizen of China, experienced this joy when she got herself a little puppy. She made the most amazing memories while raising him. She trained the puppy and got him groomed, took him to the park, bought him all kinds of toys. However, as time went by, she started noticing little things about him that raised some red flags. The pet shop was crammed between two tall buildings. Wang was sitting inside her car, waiting for the store to open. She would gathered the courage after weeks of procrastination and finally got herself out of bed. Ever since she got her own house, people have been suggesting to get a pet to keep her occupied and fill the space. Wang knew that getting a pet will be a huge responsibility for her. She didn't mean to imply that she was not ready for that kind of responsibility, but she was nervous. Because she'll be responsible for a life looking after it, feeding it, bathing it, etc. She already had her eyes on a particular pet, though. She'd always been an animal lover, so more than nervous, she was excited. She's tired of coming back to an empty home, and it'll be nice to have someone to greet you and wait for you and be happy about your arrival. Wang knew it would be slightly difficult managing to take care of a pet when she's working full time, but the challenge didn't faze her. The store sign changed to open, and that was Wang's cue to rush inside. The bell on the door jingled as she entered the store. As expected, the store was empty. Wang knew she's early, but she couldn't put this off any longer. She decided to take a look around. There were all kinds of animals here, some she didn't even know people could keep as pets. The glass jars showcased snakes, frogs, turtles, and hamsters. The birds in the cages started chirping at the sight of a visitor. Wang had to make a decision. She had to pick an animal and take it home. She's always been a dog person, so her choice wasn't that complex after all. She had a rough idea about what kind of dog she wanted. Wang wanted to take home a Japanese Spitz dog, and her eyes spotted the one she wanted. It was a tiny, white-colored, fluffy puppy. It was asleep and rolled up into a little white cloud. Wang reached its cage, and the puppy opened its eyes slowly. It had the most beautiful blue eyes. She knew her search ends here. She's going to take this puppy home. Wang called out to the store salesperson and asked him to take the puppy up. She made her decision. The furry baby is going to be her pet now. Little did she know that her decision would have her embark upon an eventful journey. The salesperson took out the puppy and brought him to meet Wang. She was in love with the little guy already. She reached out to pet him, but he didn't seem to respond or to understand what was happening. Wang found his reaction slightly odd, but didn't think too much about it when the puppy started licking her hands. He seemed to like her, too. That evening, Wang took the puppy to his new home. At first, he didn't know how to settle in. Wang guessed it's because he's lived in a cage since birth. He's still young, so she figured he'll get used to this as well and feel more at home eventually. Wang got him some warm milk for dinner and put him in her bed in an attempt to make him familiar with her smell. Wang was excited to get her little puppy some toys to play with. She got him a bunch of things, including food and water bowls, a bed, a bunch of toys and chews to play with. She knew young puppies have the urge to chew everything. Wang noticed that her little pup was more of an outdoor-loving puppy. As much as she loved to cuddle with him in bed, he was more of a roll-around-in-the-mud kind of dog. She wasn't comfortable with letting him sleep outside because he's so tiny, but it took him a long time to get used to his bed. Slowly, over a few weeks, the little puppy became more and more playful with Wang. She gradually got him used to the dog food and taught him little tricks. Despite the endless number of toys, his favorite thing to nibble on was Wang's sweater sleeves. He loved to follow her around the house. Wang was happy to see this progress in this tiny one. Over the course of three months, the puppy had grown up beautifully. A lot's changed about him in the past couple months. The fluffy fur grew thicker over the past couple months, and the tiny tail grew into a long, more bushy tail. For some reason, he was no longer into dog food. All these changes were making Wang utterly confused and curious. 
Wang loved to take out her new puppy to the dog park and let him run around. But the one thing which she noticed was how her puppy never got along with other dogs. It was as if they were almost scared of him. As a result, Wang had to put a leash on him when they went for walks. She couldn't understand what was so ferocious about her tiny being. As the puppy started growing bigger, Wang noticed all the minor changes that would make him stand out from other puppies and dogs. His behavior was putting up multiple red flags. He didn't enjoy dog food anymore. He didn't mingle with other dogs, more like scared them. And the weirdest thing out of all was that she'd never heard him bark. Wang assumed maybe the puppy had grown up three months and that's why he didn't enjoy this particular dog food. The food catered to younger puppies and she thought if she replaced it with big dog food, things would be fine. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work that way because her puppy refused to eat that as well. Wang had a feeling that this dog might not be a Japanese Spitz but a mixed breed instead. Because as far as she knew, this particular breed of dogs was affectionate and they loved to cuddle. But her dog was not really the cuddling type. He preferred to sleep alone and was not much of a catch player either. Despite the various tricks that Wang taught him when he was younger, he didn't seem to participate in any of those now. Wang decided to get some expert opinion about her dog. She has to find out why he's acting weird and making other dogs uncomfortable. His change in appetite and features were also a matter of concern. Wang decided to take her pet to a vet and get him checked for any medical condition or health issue. After contemplating this thought over and over again, Wang decided it was time to meet the experts. She knew she wanted to get some answers. She took her dog to see the vet. Sitting in the waiting room was a challenge. Her dog made all the other dogs uncomfortable and they started barking at him. And yet again, the only dog who wasn't barking was Wang's. Wang noticed how the employees of the clinic and the people around her were staring at her and her dog. There was some pointing and whispering too. She found it quite rude, but knew it's because he was making other dogs uncomfortable. She pretended not to notice any of them. What she didn't know was that they were staring at her dog because of his looks. Wang released a sigh of relief when it was finally her turn to go inside and meet the vet. To her surprise, the vet immediately stood up at the sight of her walking in with her dog. She frowned at the look on his face. He seemed mildly alarmed, but waited for her to speak and tell him what was wrong. Wang started talking about the changes she's noticed in her dog for the past couple months. The vet patiently listened to everything Wang had to say. Then he looked at her with concern and told her something that left Wang bewildered. The vet told her that she owns not a Japanese Spitz dog, it's a domesticated fox instead. Looking at the size and pointy features of the dog, the vet declared that it's a fox cub. Wang was confused because she got it from a pet store thinking it's a Japanese Spitz. The vet told him that it's quite common for such shops to sell fox cubs claiming they're dogs. Wang felt devastated and cheated, but at the same time this news made so much sense to her. Wang came to know that this practice of selling foxes as dogs is quite common for pet stores. In fact, some of them actually sell foxes to people who are interested in buying foxes. Wang wanted to go back to the store and yell at the seller, but she knew it didn't matter now. Because despite the truth, she still cares for her pet, even if it is a fox. No wonder her new pet never barked or cuddled with her. He stopped playing fetch and hated dog food. It all makes sense now. The vet also told her that these fox cubs have a distinct smell which they carry everywhere with them and grows fouler as they grow up. Thankfully, her fox wasn't there yet. It didn't smell bad. Wang looked at the vet with a thousand questions in her mind, but she didn't say anything. Her main concern at this point was what to do next. She loves her pet, but she didn't know how to care for it, not in the way that it demands to be cared for. The vet suggested Wang give her fox to the zoo. That way, it can be in an environment which it's more familiar with and she wouldn't have to worry about caring for a wild animal. As sane as the suggestion sounded, Wayne didn't like it. She didn't want to give her pet away, even if it wasn't a dog. Wang thanked the vet and got up to leave. Wang left the vet's office feeling heartbroken because despite the truth, it's still her pet and she was attached to it now. How's she supposed to just give the animal away? She has it at her home for almost a year now and it didn't take Wang long to love her fox. Granted, she loved it when she didn't know that it was a fox, but nothing has changed for her even now. Wang knew she's being stubborn, but she decided to keep the fox, even when her judgment was telling her otherwise. 
She knew she can't care for a wild animal, but she just couldn't bring herself to give it away. Wang decided to change its diet and give it chicken and other kinds of meat for now. She also went as far as allowing it to sleep outside, hoping it would make it feel at home. Despite Wang's attempt to keep the fox and make it feel at home, she couldn't tell her efforts are going to waste. The fox mostly kept to itself and sometimes didn't even come inside the house. Wang had a feeling that her keeping the fox made it unhappy, and even though she did everything in her power to make it feel at home, it just wasn't working. The fox's behavior gave Wang that reality check that she needed. She realized the animal's not meant to spend its life indoors. It's meant for the outside world, to live outside and play around instead of being stuck inside a house. This realization resulted in Wang taking a heartbreaking decision. Wang began her research about what to do with the fox. She recalled the vet's advice of giving the fox to a zoo. She realized that this is the option that makes the most sense. So she decided to contact the local zoo and tell them about her situation. She wanted to ask them if they'd be interested in meeting her and taking in the fox. To her surprise, the zoo was very much interested in meeting her and the fox. They would gladly take the animal for their exhibit, where they have other foxes as well. As glad as Wang was that her search ends here, a part of her was sad too because this news meant that the time to say goodbye was near. She decided to take the fox down to the zoo and meet the employee she spoke with. Wang took the fox to see the people at the zoo, and as discussed on the call, they were ready to take the animal. They were going to keep it with the other foxes so it instantly feels at home. Also, the exhibits provide a massive space for it to run around and play with others of its kind. On Wang's permission, they took the fox inside for a regular checkup before placing it in the exhibit to see if it gets along with the other animals. Before leaving, Wang asked if she could see where the fox will be kept and the people at the zoo were happy to show her. To her surprise, the fox seemed so much at home, it felt amazing. It finally had friends who weren't scared of it and actually wanted to play. Just seeing that sight comforted that Wang took the right decision, even if it made her sad. The fox will be kept in quarantine for a month before it's placed back in an exhibit finally. It's important to keep it in isolation because this is not a normal fox, it's been domesticated. So as far as living in a whole new environment goes, making that adjustment will be tricky for the fox. So to be on the safer side, the zoo decided it's best to keep it in quarantine for the time being. The people at the zoo told Wang that she did the right thing by bringing it in. Foxes are not the best house pets. They're meant to stay outdoors. And if they're kept inside a house, they can get destructive and ruin everything around them. Plus, the smell they carry is impossible to live with. Wang noticed how the fox grew faster than a puppy, and within three months, it grew up to 12 inches. The people at the zoo told her that the growth of that fox is still not over. In fact, they grow up to be huge animals. This is another reason why they can't stay indoors or live domesticated. Sensing Wang's sadness, the zoo informed her she's free to visit the fox anytime she wants, free of cost. Wang appreciated their efforts to make her feel better. She was happy that now the fox will live in an environment where it feels at home. And after months of eating food that it didn't like, the fox will finally get the food that pleases its taste buds. Wang decided to never go to a pet store again. She'd rather adopt a puppy from a shelter and never suggest anyone go to a pet store. Besides, adopting is the best way to bring an animal in your life because it's about providing a home to the ones that need it the most. Buying a pet's not the right option for sure, and Wang learned that the hard way.